Hello there, welcome to this video with five top tips for wearing Invisalign. Uh, I've finished the whole treatment now, so I thought I'd uh, pass on my knowledge and hopefully let you get through the process a little bit easier. So, number one. Invest in an emery board. It's like a nail file, one of those little things that you use to smooth the edges of your fingernails. You can also use that to smooth any rough edges on your Invisalign trays. Sometimes you'll put in a new one and then after a couple of minutes you'll think, yeah, that's a little bit sharp and you feel it cutting your tongue or your cheek or whatever, uh, but that's easily fixed. Just get an emery board and very gently, very carefully, just file the rough edge. Just do it a little bit, put it back in, see if that's worked. If it hasn't, just do it a bit more. Obviously, don't go crazy with it. You don't want to file away the entire Invisalign tray because then it won't work. Just be very gentle, very careful, but you can make it more comfortable. Number two. Don't put them in a napkin in a restaurant. When you eat a meal in a restaurant, of course, when you eat, you have to take out the trays. That's just what you have to do. Uh, so when you take it out, put it away in the little box that they give you instead of putting it in a napkin. If you put it in a napkin, then you probably put it at the side of your plate, maybe in your pocket or something. If you put it to the side of your plate, you're probably going to forget about it. The waiter will come along, take it away, throw it away, and then you have to go through the rubbish and oh, it'd just be awful. <laughs> So to avoid that, keep it in the little box that they give you and put that in your pocket. And you'll soon come to find that it's more natural feeling to have Invisalign in your mouth than not. So sooner or later, after you finish a meal, you'll soon think, oh, I've got my trays in, because it feels weird. And at that point, you'll have it with you and not in the bin. <laughs> Brilliant. Number three. Never leave them out for more than one hour at a time. You're allowed to wear them for 22 hours a day. So in theory, you could just take them out once for two hours, but no, you need to take it out sort of 40 minutes maximum for each time, three times a day. And the reason I say that is very simple. Uh, I find after an hour, my teeth were starting to actually move back to where they wanted to be. I mean, we're talking a tiny amount, but after an hour of not having the trays in my mouth, I could feel it hurting as the, um, the teeth started to move again, having been let loose into the world. So you need to wear them for, let's say, all the time, except when you're eating. And then when you're finished eating, you need to get them back in as quickly as possible after you've cleaned them, of course. Number four. How to remove them painlessly. I have made a video on this, but uh, I will show you one more time. Uh, my treatment is finished, so I haven't got any attachments, which does make it a lot easier. But the way to remove them is to take the tray away from your teeth at the back, sort of pull it down, put it out to the side, then the other side, pull it down, out to the side, then straight down at the front, like this. Perfect. That's how you do it. That way, uh, you minimise uh, pulling at your teeth. You know, if you don't unhook it from the back first, you'll start to find you're tugging at it and your teeth hurt and it's just awful. Um, and you'll find that your teeth will like you a lot more and be less wobbly if you take it out as gently as possible and as infrequently as possible. Like I say, three times a day. Finally, tip number five, and that is after eating, don't put your trays in for 10 minutes. So you've got to wait 10 minutes after you've finished eating. If you're at home, then after 10 minutes you can brush your teeth because it's actually bad to brush your teeth immediately after eating. Apparently it's bad for the enamel. That's what I've heard anyway. Um, but if you're out in a restaurant and you don't have access to your toothbrush, it's a very, very bad idea to put your trays straight back in because any food that's left stuck to your teeth and especially sugary food, you do not want that against your teeth for any length of time. If you put your trays back in, you're trapping it all there. There is no way saliva is going to naturally wash it all away. Uh, it's gonna be stuck between the plastic and your teeth until you do get home and clean them. So to avoid that, have a glass of water after you've finished eating. Take 20, 25 minutes over your food and then wait 10 minutes, have a glass of water, get your teeth as clean as possible and then put them in. And if you are at home, that's when you should brush your teeth and clean the inside of the trays. Do that three times a day and Bob's your uncle and Invisalign is your aunt. So thanks very much for watching. I really hope these tips helped. Uh, if you've got any more questions, I do have this video up here, which tells you everything you need to know about Invisalign. Uh, that's my whole review. And also down here is my playlist for my entire diary. I've made 26 diary entries as well uh, to talk you through the process. So hope that all helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers.